Hmm. And good afternoon. I'm Gemma Fairclough Haynes from Orchard Employment Law, and I thought I'd come and do a quick video to talk about the real living wage and the national living wage and explain the difference as it's living wage week. I noticed that it was trending all over Twitter, so what better way to just demystify things than with a video? And please do excuse me, I'm holding a selfie stick probably for the very first time and it's really quite heavy after a while. So in order to explain this difference, I need to give you a little bit of a history lesson. And history was definitely one of my favourite subjects while I was at school. Um, we're all aware that there was a minimum wage introduced many, many moons ago. And some of you will remember, if you're as old as me, when the minimum wage only applied to people 18, 16, 18 and 21. It didn't apply to anybody else um, until more recently. Now the whole point of the minimum wage was to meet the standards so that people could afford to live. But unfortunately, the minimum wage wasn't increasing quickly enough to keep up with inflation in the UK. Now, at the same time as this has been happening, there's a thing called the Living, Fa Living Wage Foundation, and that was an organisation who campaigned tirelessly to ensure that um, people started to be paid a wage which they would be able to live on. So that just to live on, not necessarily to be rich, to be wealthy, but just enough to get by to pay their basic bills and to buy food. So the Living Wage Foundation came up with the whole term living wage and you'll find that the real living wage, as they call it, varies from region to region. So an example which I give is in Sheffield, if you're living in Sheffield, if you're lucky enough to be living in Sheffield, then the house prices and the rent is much, much less than if you're living in London. If you're living in London, however, the house prices and rent is much higher. And some companies have compensated that by adding something called London waiting. So they'd pay people a little bit more for working in the city because they appreciated that it costs more to be in the city. Now the government realised that the minimum wage wasn't keeping up with inflation and so they decided to add an additional age, which was age 25. They didn't necessarily want to add more money to age 21 year olds and 18 year olds because as small businesses are still realising, it's quite a struggle sometimes to pay that extra sum, but something needed to be done. So they then decided to add the age 25 to this minimum wage. However, when they looked at the legislation, that is the paperwork behind it, they realised there was a clause in there which meant that they couldn't alter it. They couldn't add age 25 to it. So they had to come up with a whole new phrase um, in order to add this age 25. Only they didn't come up with a new, a new, new phrase. They just copied and stole the Living Wage Foundation's phrase, which was the living wage. And they've termed this as the national living wage. So at the moment it is £7.83 for over 25 year olds, but in April it will be rising to £8.21, so start planning. So it's really important that you don't mix the two. The real living wage, which is what the Living Wage Foundation say is required to live, is um, £9 in some regions and £10 some in London, but that's not the national minimum wage, it's not a legal requirement. So what I'm not saying is, don't pay the real living wage. Of course, if you can afford to pay it and your staff are worth it, go ahead, remunerate them and reward them. However, if you are unable to, you don't have to all of a sudden contact your accountant or change the wages and worry that you're not paying what is legally required. So I'd love to know what you think of this video. By all means, drop me some comments send me an email. If you'd like to see more information, then do follow us on all of our social media forums, which is Orchard Employment Law, and especially on YouTube, where we have much more videos. Thank you for listening.